Hello everybody, my name is Io, and welcome to Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. Yes, we are finally black. Ugh, Jesus Christ. We are finally back to this campaign again. Last time where we left off wasn't really the best. We took Massilia, but we actually lost the northern city there. Uh, yeah, so what our plan at this moment in time is to expand down in Iberia more and take back that settlement. But yeah, this is the only campaign I really have to worry about at this moment in time, so that's, I guess, a good thing. I got a small army hen down there. Also, I think we're starting to build our economy back up slowly but surely, and a lot of these Iberian settlements actually have gold mines in them. So, of course, that increases um, your factions, I guess, wealth pool by quite a bit. We're also building up a pretty strong and hefty army down up in the north to take the Celts on again. And I think after we take that settlement back, we're just going to recruit so many, like a massive navy to take on the Celts specifically, because there's a huge Roman army up by Londinium. I see it once in a blue moon there, but yeah, it's a full stack army with, uh, I even forgot their names, I haven't played this in a while. Uh, starts with C, yeah, the fucking legionnaires, and they have peasants, that I guess isn't scary, but they have limitardies and shit like that, so... I kind of don't want to mess with them, I'd rather mess with the Celts first. Plus, last time I checked, they were at war with the Saxons, so I don't know how far they went, but who knows. Also, I'm glad to I'm glad to say that the Hordes have finally settled down in the eastern part of the map. They're definitely taking their peace off of Rome, but I think after a while, their game code is like, okay, you gotta settle down somewhere, because this is getting ridiculous, and shit like that, right? Besides that, we're really just mass recruiting um, more or less cavalry here later on because cavalry is going to be cheap. It isn't the best unit, I realize. Like, it loses morale pretty fast. But in this, I guess in this DLC, there isn't really any solid unit. But uh, uh, as, a good, as a good buffer, we took that Iberian settlement pretty easily. Eh, well, what to say about it, I ought to resolve it. It's not really much of a surprise. I'm definitely going to be cruising through the Roman territories this settlement I'm really worried about though because they have a lot of good units and it could be a really close fight and plus I don't plan to fight it I guess manually because that's going to take forever and plus fuck those stone balls man you got to think I'm insane so that's why I'm kind of being more cautious while dealing with that settlement because I don't have control of the battle I'm going to auto resolve that one due to the fact that I'm not confident in my own abilities of winning that fight anyways I keep sending units up north there and that netherland settlement there i don't know what's gonna happen i might think about taking it on i'm yeah that's the thing there's so many enemies and shit i gotta worry about for example right now the lombardi have just decided they want to attack me again attacked my fort that basically blocked their way and i basically sent my diplomat to see if i could get a quick peace deal with them so they would leave me the fuck alone but they're just not interested at all so, fuck them, you know, they don't want a peace deal, that's fine, I don't really care much about them anyways. I'll kick their ass no matter what, but their armies, I don't know, they're, they're expanding quite well down in the east there. They're taking down those settlements, I have I basically gave them the opportunity to expand. And they're not, they, I think they have berserkers, so that's kind of scary. If you guys don't know what berserkers are, I never really encountered them or really explained much about them, but berserkers are like... They're like elephants, but like in berserk mode all the time, and they just wipe out units. Fucking like, I guess a lawnmower and grass. Oh, sorry, I need to stretch there, but all right. Uh, another thing I want to mention because I don't think I really explained much about Frank's his like the Frankish people's history. I I did it for the Roman history. I did like what the Julii really mean and shit like that. Also, the fucking Lombardi decided to attack me, and like I said, they have berserkers with them, and that's fucking scary. Yeah, but I'm not too worried about that right now. What I'm worried about is talking about the history of the Franks because I mentioned that in the Julii campaign. The I think the so-called history around that, or what they were intended to do around it, but the Franks were actually a legit tribe um, down in Germany, of course. And they have a pretty historically accurate um, storm position anyways. And yeah, the, how they hoard actually does make sense as well. That I think was actually kind of funny. Uh, yeah, no. Anyways, we're going to take on this element quickly. So 
as you can see, it's a half and half. I got a close victory there, very close to losing, like I was talking about there. Very close fight, I was really scared about that one, but we actually took it pretty easily. They also sent another another general down to my lands, seeing if they can reinforce the town. Actually, one of my heroes, or not heroes, sorry. One of my generals actually ended up dying during that fight that I didn't know that could happen during an auto resolve. I was actually really surprised when that happened. Anyways, yeah, the Franks were actually a legit peoples that ravaged, I guess, Western France. And like I said, they're kind of the ancestors of the Fran of, you know, of the French we see nowadays. Except uh, there's some memorable points of the French anyways, or the Franks anyways. For example, they obliterate the fuck out of the Saxons. Uh, they just annihilate them. And yeah, that's really all I really know much about the Franks. They were, yeah, just, just a really interesting thing I wanted to step upon because I was talking about the Western Romans and then I was talking about the Julii and I don't know, I just decided to talk about. It. Anyways, we reached what what settlement is that? It's not a what, Cova Nova or whatever it's called. I fucking hate Italian names. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at it. Like, I can't wait to do this shit live so I can actually take my time instead of rush through this shit. But it's just, I have no control over it. Besides that, the Lombards have actually attacked us. And they only have a ram and a ladder, so I'm not too worried. Plus, we have stone walls. That ram's never going to get there. For stone walls, I don't understand the point of building a ram. It's just going to burn down anyways. I don't even need archers to do anything with that. So I target my archers towards those berserkers there, seeing if I could get some shots off. Because when they get on the walls, it's it's not going to be a fair fight for me. I send the spearmen over there and put them in a defensive position, but they're already there by the time the berserkers are there. I actually stand a decent amount of chance. I stand a decent chance of winning against them, especially with the arrow fire upon them. And I think I take out the first unit of berserkers, surprisingly enough. But after that point, the spearmen die, and the archers have to go into melee sooner or later, and it's just, yeah, archers melee doesn't really work. I act they actually end up routing, and, well, story tells itself. For some reason, I actually send one of my um, cavalry units to go out there, seeing if I can charge the back of them, seeing if I can cause a route and probably, you know, save myself from this disaster, but... It doesn't look like it, and I really don't want to lose this element either because I just gained it back. But yeah, charging in the back doesn't work. For example, the AI just doesn't know what the fuck to do there. But I actually skip ahead here. I know it's kind of weird me saying that, but I, I just skip ahead there because it's just the AI being a piece of shit. And I get that one unit back into the walls, but it doesn't even matter because the walls actually did a really good job of chewing them down. And I'm down to one general unit left. And yeah, I basically play, play Ring Around Roger with the spear unit first, and I decide, fuck it, I have infinite morale, I'm not going to rout, I'm also a general unit, I'm more powerful than they are. So I decided to just go in, charge at them, hope for the best, my general's right in the middle there, I'm scared, we're around 10 fucking troops in, and boom, victory. Yeah. I'm actually quite surprised about that one too. Really close, if my general died there, I'm, I guarantee that this, I would not have saved this settlement. I literally have less than 10 men in this settlement left. It's fucking ridiculous. But yeah, that was a really close fight. The walls definitely saved me there. I'm sorry I cut a lot of that footage out and whatever, but holy fuck is it hot in my room. Oh, I hate summer. Anyways. Yeah, if I can, I'm so glad that <laughs> I was actually able to save my that settlement there because I didn't really want to take it back from the Lombards and shit like that. They're really being annoying this campaign, but I basically just recruit a really expensive mercenary unit and stick it in another fort there. Don't want to deal with them. I also merge a bunch of ships because I'm recruiting two separate ships at the same time. And yeah, we're definitely going to attack the Celts. Anyways, we're attacking another settlement there. It's another clear victory in Iberia. That This small unit that I'm actually, it, it's getting bigger. I'm getting a lot of more, I guess, horse units in there. Yeah, holy fuck. I'm sorry, guys, if this video has been everywhere. It's been really hot. It's also a little late, and I just wanted to get a video out before shit happens. It's definitely all over the place. Sorry about that. But yeah, we actually reclaimed the majority of our territory. And, yeah, I mean, we did really good. We took, we defended, we defended one of our settlements. We took that settlement back from the Celts. We expanded two settlement, two settlements fold of fucking 
in Iberia. So we're definitely gonna be taking taking a lot of territory from the Iberians, or I guess the Western Romans in that territory anyways. And we're slowly starting to build up an army and a navy. So next episode, it's probably gonna be War to the Celts and more expansion down in Iberia. But anyways, guys, I wanted to thank you guys for watching the video. If you like it, you know, subscribe, do all that shit YouTubers tell you to do. And, well, I'll catch y'all later.